Hi everyone, it's Robin and welcome back. So today is a very rainy day here in Minnesota. And what better thing to do on a rainy day than to go thrifting. I have totally <laughs> decided I was not gonna stay at home and do what I was supposed to do today. And I'm gonna go thrifting instead. But I thought it would be even more fun to go to a few thrift stores which I don't normally get to very often. So I'm a couple towns over and um, I think I'm gonna go to two, possibly three um, Goodwills. And we'll just kind of see how the day goes. And I thought I would take you guys along with me because you guys seem to like it when I share with you my thrifting adventures. So I hope that we can find some good stuff. I am currently right outside the first Goodwill. So let's go inside and see what I can find. I have been seeing this pattern everywhere. It must have been popular at one time. I need to look it up. I'm very curious about it. I was very tempted by this iron stone, but I already have a lot in this pattern and size, so I decided to pass it up. I thought this set of china was so pretty. I love the simplicity of it. And then look inside the cup. It's got a nice little design in it as well, which is also on the top of the plates. I just thought it was a very nice set. These glasses were super cool. I was super tempted by them, but um, my glass cupboard is like overflowing at the moment. <laughs> so I couldn't pick those up, but oh man, I like those a lot.
I thought this was really cool. I have no idea what it is. I do know that it is pewter. And I just think it's cool. I'm assuming it's for like, I don't know, espresso or something like that. But I had something very similar in shape without that extra little handle on it. So I decided I didn't really need it, which is kind of a bummer because I'm kind of wishing I would have picked that up. I thought this teapot right here was just gorgeous. And oh my goodness, look at this. I'm obsessed with these enamel cookware lately, but look at the inside. Ugh. Nope, I'm not going to get that, but I like the design on it. I thought this would be so much fun for, you know, the autumn months. It's a little pumpkin terrine. <laughs> Very cute. And here's some more of that enamelware cookware. Oh, I just love it so much. I need to find something with red on it though. <laughs> this pot caught my eye. Um, it was really very lightweight and not very sturdy, but oh my goodness, look at those handles. Ooh -hoo. And another enamelware pot. This they're starting to mock me now, I think. <laughs> I love this little guy. Do you see the monogram on the front? And it looks like it is pewter too. Oh, I love it.
I see items like this all the time, and I don't know about them. What do you guys think? Has, does anyone have any information on those? They're interesting to me. And then, oh, look at these. Oh, Mama wants some of these. Actually, they're not a very bad price. That first one is in pretty good condition. This one here's got a big dent in the front of it, but one could turn it around and it would be fine. They're very heavy too. And then here's some more pewter. There's a lot of pewter today. I was very tempted by this one, but it looked a little wonky, so I decided to let go of that one. But I really loved this set. It's like a mid-century modern sort of stainless steel um, creamer set, but it was marked all individually, which I thought was really weird. It would have been like $9, which I thought was really high. Here's another pewter piece, my goodness. So uh, apparently I'm not the only one who had this bright idea today. The store was really busy. Um, but I did find a few things. So now it is time to go on the best route to the next store. So off I go. All right, so I am at the second. My hair is just getting all crazy. Um, I'm at the second Goodwill store now. So I'm gonna head on in there, see what I can find. Right away, the glassware sucked me in. I loved this two-tiered tray. I think it was so pretty. I love the silver on it as well. But then, sitting right next to it, was this right here. Oh, ho, ho. this gorgeous cake plate. I love the scalloping on it too. I don't know what it is about cut glass right now, but I am totally digging it. Oh, and look, they have baby balls. Oh my goodness, I love baby balls. I really like the design on these. They are really super pretty and the texture on them is great. This gravy boat is the largest one I have ever seen. It was ginormous. I probably should have picked it up, but I have so many gravy boats. I really didn't need another one, but I just thought that was pretty crazy. Way down here on the bottom is a gorgeous little soup terrine. It's got a great little shape. I like that one. I really love glass pie plates. This one was super cute. And then there was another one about apples, I think, below it. Yeah, apples. 
apple pie. I thought those were both really nice, but I don't really need any more. <laughs> And when you look at this, I found another soup tureen. I really like this one. Um, I think, if I want to get it tipped over here, I think it was from Crate and Barrel. It was like $10. Yeah. And then this cute little strawberry milk glass plate. It was really cute. Guys, that was a total bust. I found one thing, and there was like hardly anything on the shelves at this particular go Goodwill. Um, I'm just not really finding anything today, really, that's like really exciting. So I, I don't know, I kind of feel like I shouldn't continue to go thrifting at this point. I don't know, I just don't know what to do. Maybe what I'll do is I'll stop off at my favorite thrift store on the way home and start going to the third Goodwill. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I'll do that. I need to go get myself some lunch because I'm starving and it's like almost two o'clock already, so. <laughs> Gotta get myself some food. So I will head out to the next thrift store and hopefully we can find some stuff there. Cross your fingers. Oh my goodness you guys, look at this. Oh, it's $10, which seems a little high for a thrift store, but oh, I'm loving it. This is really pretty too, I'm liking the yellow lately. And look at this, they had the matching tumblers that go with that picture, but I could not find a price on these. I was very disappointed. Oh, and look at these. I love this pattern so much. Um, it's by Churchill. I think I'm going to be getting these. <laughs> I look at mugs every single week. I'm looking for some really cute, like, Pyrex mugs, and I cannot find any. I am also on the lookout for a little tea kettle to go on my stove for a decoration piece. This one, I kind of liked a little, I don't know, I'm looking for something a little older, but I thought this was a nice one. I love that it's enameled.
More pie plates. This one's a really pretty one with a winter scene on it. I think it's from Watkins, if I remember correctly. Seems to be the day for cake plates, or pie plates. Here's another one for chicken pot pie. Thought that was cute. That's also a Watkins one. I loved this tray right here with the cow on it. I'm totally in love with cows. Um, but the price was really high. It was originally from TJ Maxx and they still wanted like $7 for it, which I thought was ridiculous. Thank you for coming thrifting with me today. I would love to know down in the comments what you saw during today's video that you would have picked up if you had the chance. And of course, make sure you stop by on Thursday for my next Thrift Store Thursday video where I'll share everything that I picked up today. And of course, if you enjoyed today's video, I have more Thrift With Me videos, which I will link at the end of this video. Bye now.